We took a sneak peek at what the performance might have been like with the round ones compared to the Silent Wings 4 Pro. That gap was a little less than a degree. We got the square ones here now. They are, of course, better than the round ones. Welcome to Machines and More. New fan day does not come very often. This older Noctua A14 by 25, it wasn't bad, but it was in dire need of a refresh, especially with fans like the Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 Pro on the market. And uh, Noctua sent by the Scroll ones. They just got released, exciting. <laughs> Big thanks to them. You can get them now and I'll share the different options and SKU shortly, but I did wanna let you know this video is not sponsored by them and all our review and testing is independent here. A few minutes ago, we tested the new D15G2. The fans, of course, are an integral part of the new cooler. Details like the centrifugal turbulator hub here in the middle, got all of that name, right? The sharper, more progressive bend towards the outer circumference of the, these are the Sterox LCP fan blades uh, because they start out with a slight curve and they get more uh, kind of a sharper curve here. 0.7 millimeters of tip clearance. And I actually just noticed this when studying these closer because there's actually a raised kind of wing tip, sort of like you might see on an airplane like the Airbus A350, for example. This winglet, it's obviously it's a lot more subtle, but it's still really interesting to think to look at this fan and go like, wow, they, they thought of something like that, right? And there are airflow grooves cut on the inside of the frame. This fan it uses the Noctua SSO2 bearing system, and that is an oil-based hydrodynamic system. Uh, the entire assembly, of course, it's rock solid stable because the tiny tip clearance that you have here, you really cannot afford any wobble. And this, just based on my experience with uh, the NFA 12x25, uh, this is a very dependable design. We tested the D15 G2, it's a great air cooler, and I went as far as to mock up these round ones on a radiator, which obviously not meant for that. Uh, but the square ones, this is what they're for, and uh, the frame, it's a lot beefier than this guy here. Your standard SKU will be a single fan. Um, that's gonna come with the rad gasket included and already installed. And I would highly, highly recommend that you use the gasket because not only do they create a tight seal against your radiator and they also dampen vibrations, and they also help prevent too much or uneven pressure being applied from the radiator screws and that would lead to flex. And I know this is uh, one of those reasons the development took a lot longer. The corners, and just look at the uh, original A14 here on the right, the corners here got beefed up a lot to stiffen up the assembly so that it wouldn't flex when the screws are installed. The challenge is, of course, when you do this, you also have to keep in mind that the acoustic profile and Noctua is very, very much uh, into the details here. So that's why they didn't just say, oh, just make it solid, right? Um, so yeah, there's a lot more details. Just talking through all of them quickly you really can't do the volume of experimentation that went into this fan any justice. I, I have seen a lot of prototypes of these 140 millimeter fans over the years, then the attention to detail from Noctua is just mind boggling. Just holding in your hands, you can compare against the original A14 and you know, this one sounds like that, right? And then this one, that's completely different, right? So you know you're holding something special when you've got the new one in your hands. So other inclusions you get with a fan, you get an extension cable, this is 30 centimeters. So the max length that you can do out of the box is 50 centimeters because the stock cable is 20 centimeters. You also have anti-vibration mounts. So you can don't have to use screws for that if your case can support that. And the regular fan bumpers, so if you're not using the gasket, you use these. You get a set of fan screws, a low noise adapter, uh, with this, the max RPM is 1250 plus or minus 10%. Uh, without that, the regular fan is 1500 RPM plus or minus 10%. And you do get a Y cable here for splitting off to two fans. One additional feature is that these will stop completely when a 0% PWM signal is present versus running at a minimum RPM like some of the older fans. Now they're also doing what they're calling a push pull kit here. This is a, <laughs> it's like a, tray of fans. 
Uh, the name is a little bit confusing because these fans are actually more or less the same. It's not like one is somehow designed for pushing and the other one is for pulling, right? It's actually just a two pack of your square G2 fans. But the actual speed that those two fans will measure in at will not be the same. They're supposed to be guaranteed to be offset by roughly 25 RPM. Mainly that's to avoid the fans running at the same speed, which could cause harmonic resonance or a beat uh, type of frequency noise uh, in a push-pull scenario such as on a heatsink. And while this is going to be less important on a 280, for example, when they're side by side, it really doesn't hurt in that application either. As mounted on this rad here, one fan at 60% PWM measured in at 920 RPM and the other one at 890 RPM. So that's uh, 30 RPM difference. So I think uh, it's within that uh, range. At full speed, uh, fan one was 1530 RPM and the other one was 1480 RPM. So it's a little bit more, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's you know, at least there's a measurable offset there. Uh, when I previewed the round ones, I tested at a moderately higher RPM interval, roughly 1300 RPM. Uh, for testing these, I did want to test a few more intervals just to be specific. These are tested in the T1 ref here. This is a custom loop with a 7600X running under an Optimus Foundation block. Got a 3070 FE in here. So that total load for 1440p gaming is about 270 watts. So it's a decent load for a single 280. And our main comparison here is gonna be the Silent Wings 4 Pro, which generally runs slightly faster at the same noise level. So starting at the lower speed here, barely audible level, it's a scenario where you may have a lot of rads or you just have a lower power system running on a 280. Small gap here, the G2s are definitely ahead though, but uh, when you get up to a more medium speed here, empirically, this is where I feel like these are the best. There's a very, very significant gap here on the order of almost three degrees, and that is uh, tremendous. Uh, I did see a 0.9 degree gap at the moderate high noise level with the round G2s previously. These do do a tiny bit better than that with a 1.3 degree gap as at max speed. There are yet additional gains to be had. So these are very incredible fans. And based on what I'm seeing here, if you can get these on a system with multiple 280s or a 420 where a speed of 1100 to 1200 rpm would get you the temps that you want i think these are going to be very hard to beat uh, for acoustics also at that range and we'll take a listen to the sound shortly uh, another use case for this fan is the c14s that's a uh, top-down cooler and it comes with an og a14 it's a great cooler. Maybe you've had it for a while. Uh, maybe you want to do a fan upgrade. In my NR200 test system with the 5800X, in an application like this, I'd anticipate moderate high fan speed since it's just a single fan. Got a pretty good gap here. And uh, stepping it up to max for both the A4G1 and G2. Uh, the G2 does extremely well here. Now, one thing that you can do with the Be Quiets, I should note, is that these have a, a toggle back here. So that if you really wanted to get the full range, you can go all the way up to 2400 RPM, which for most use cases will be way more noise than it's worth, but it is there, right? And Noctuas don't have anything close to that level of max RPM, at least just yet. Let's take a quick listen into the fans just to give you an idea of the acoustic properties. Acoustics were a main focus of the development here with Nocto team, and I think it shows. So these fans were on the rad and they're intaking through the mesh side panel and you can sometimes pick up a little bit of interference from that and that's how the sound was recorded. Uh, one thing that Noctua does offer if you have space is an inlet or intake side spacer. You would put that over this side of the fan. It's an optional ex accessory. I think this particular type of mesh panel with like with the T1 ref uh, could benefit from that. I have noticed that little bit of change with the panel open. 
and the fan's intake side is almost flush up against the side panel here. So I think I would like to test those out in this scenario. So definitely stay tuned for that little experiment. That spacer also helps if you have the intake side against the radiator as well. So yeah, overall, these are great fans as you might have expected. You're not gonna find anything better in a noise optimized RPM range for 140 millimeter fans. Just like the round ones though, they are gonna come at a cost. These are also $40 each and you can compare that to roughly $31 to $32 for an A12 by 25, that's a 120 millimeter Noctua fan. And so depending, that depends on the color of course, but in that perspective, it's not terrible. These are bigger obviously. And I think there's more new technology with this one. As noted earlier, you can get the push pull two pack. It's cheaper that way at $77 for the kit. And you don't have to be running in a push pull set up you can do that uh, for a radiator as well uh, so that's definitely the route i would take for outfitting a 280 or uh, more than a 280 if you have two 280s you can get just two of these uh, for the same 40 dollars single type uh, of setup you there is one additional skew which is the ls or the lower speed version which tops out at 800 rpm and i think that one will be likely of less general interest because you can always just get their full range ones and just manually limit it and you're going to have more versatility for these fans in the long run anyway like that the be quiets there are 28 dollars currently so if you're looking for something to bridge that gap between price and performance then these are still very great fans as well but these absolutely blow them out of the water at uh, 1100 to 1200 rpm so that'll do it for this initial look. Please check out the fans with the links down below. Make sure you are subscribed. Please give a like if you enjoyed it. Big thanks for watching today.